Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be creating a tag using the Country Christmas Paper Collection from Prima Marketing. I also use, I'm going to be using this little tidbit here of a die that young Sue gifted to me. Guess what? I used the Big Shop Machine. How awesome is that? So I've cut a tag out of chipboard. It's three and a half by six and three quarters. And I've also sized up my Country Christmas uh, Prima Collection two size and some vellum. I've inked the edges with um, Candied Apple from Tim Holtz. Imagine that. I've, I've explored outside of vintage photos. Oh my gosh, how funny. Anyway, so I mitered the edges because I don't have one of the um, corner punches. I mitered the edges. I just kind of flushed it up just like that and I took my my ruler and I went from edge to edge, marked it and did the same thing and then just kind of cut out those little corners and I made sure that they were actually the same size. So that's important, right? We don't want wonkiness. So now I've taken all my little paper collections and these are all the little things that I think I'm going to be using. I'm not quite sure. We are using some chipboard scraps for dimension and here's my little piece that I actually did too. I wasn't sure which one I'm going to use so I did too. So here's the little piece that I die cut from the little die cut set that Yang Su gifted me. So we have some little goodies here so I guess that just means that I'm hard at work when you see the mess on my desk, right? I'm also going to use some twine and some gesso for, for some like snowy effects. So let's wait for this little glue gun to fire up because apparently I wasn't prepared, right? Well, what I want to do is I want to take this and I guess I can give you the measurements for this. It is three and a quarter by six and three eighth and pretty much what I do is just I take a piece of whatever it is I'm going to use I line it up to where I'm going to use my um, my seam and then I just take the pencil make a mark run it through say for instance I want to use that kind of a seam come over here and mark it where I want and then just cut it that way instead of sitting here and um, measuring every little detail of it because it just takes the fun out of it. I just, I don't know about you guys, but it really irks me to sit here and measure. Oh my God. No. So what I just do is I line it up and I know that I want that much of a seam. And I wish I can zoom in a little bit better. I know I want that much of a little seam allowance on the edges. It's about an eighth of an inch. I come over here. I make a little marking. I go to the side for the bottom piece and do the same thing. And then I just run it through my paper cutter instead of sitting there trying to figure it all out. Um, so that's what I did here. I used my little distress. They're not distress. They're, they're just a pair of uh, shears that I bought at a thrift store. And I distressed the edges. Now for these, I'm not going to actually use any, um, any, any ink. And I'm distressing it even more because I want more distress. So I'm just kind of bending it just a tad bit there, here and there, you know, wherever I can. All right, I think that my glue gun should be ready so the most affordable way to get dimension is just use your scraps of chipboard guys it's a more affordable to me and also um, it's more convenient actually and better because you have these little uh, scraps of chipboard already laying out laying around so why not just you know instead of tossing them reuse them on dimensions for your pieces so that's a good way of reusing what you have already and I really do, do need to do um, 
a cleanup of all my little scraps that I've been having from all my recent tutorials. Let's add up just to give it more body dimension there. So there's that. So that's going to sit here. And of course, you're not going to see that little stock in. I know, I know. See, but it gives it nice dimension. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Now I can go in and maybe distress just a tad bit. Even if I wanted to tear it a little, I can because it just makes it cuter. Cuter, cuter. Okay. Now let's go with. We can use the Fabri Tech on this. A biggie there. Let's line it up right so. Good thing about it is that it gives you enough wiggle room that if you want, like if you had the glue gun, um, you don't have that wiggle room to be able to move things around. Let's see, I can still move it to where I want it and place it. Just it gives me that freedom to do that. So we're going to do the same thing here. We have this little piece that's going to go on top again from the same collection, the Country Christmas. This one's three by five and one eighth. So I'm doing the measurement for you guys. Again, I distressed the edges. Um, I'm not putting any inks on these because I don't know. Just thought it, I, I thought, you know, we'll get away a little bit. I'm trying to be a little different, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> What I what do I want to do when I grow up? All right, let's add a little dimensional there. Looks like I need to refuel my glue gun. More dimension. More, 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 more dimensions. Dimension's good. Dimension's really good. You want that look. You want that um the look of dimension. It just gives it life, guys. It gives it life. Just like when you're layering a project, um, it gives it life. Whether you're using laces or whatever you're using, it just gives it life. We're going to add this one here just, just because I want to add that for safety reasons. Because here in a bit, I want to be piling something in the center. And it will give it just more oomph right there. So... And it gives you that 3D effect that we all want. Again, I want to tear up just that a little bit. You know, and I can come in with a little bit of this candied apple. Not too much, just right there. Okay. And just go right smack there. Again, let's do our fabric tack because it gives me that freedom of being able to move it around and it is acid free. Let me get my paper towel and let's wipe this because one thing I have to say that I don't like about it is, you know, the string. Don't like I can I can do without the strings. All right, let's go right smack in the center of all that yumminess. Right about now, you can also take um, some cheesecloth. Ooh, that'd be nice. Let's grab some cheesecloth, guys. How about that? We might have some. You know, we always have cheesecloth. Who doesn't have cheesecloth? We all have cheesecloth. Right about now, we can add some cheesecloth. 
Let's see if I have a double. It looks like I have a double here. Yes, I did. See, I knew I had a double. All right, then we have another layer. Again, I distressed that one, and this one is two and three quarters by five. Maybe we can put this cheesecloth on top of this one because this one's going to have some awkwardness. All right, so let's add more of this stuff. Chipboard stuff. Mm -hmm. More glue. And I know I'm like really super early and it's not Christmas in July because it's not July anymore. But, you know, I got this paper and I said I need to make a video on it because I need to start making a habit of using what I get because there's no point of buying craft stuff if you're not going to use it and you know I don't have that kind of money to be tossing if I'm not going to be using this stuff right alright so that's going to go there again we're just building on some serious layers guys layers upon layers and thank goodness that we had Fabri-Tac because it had that been you know fabri -Tac. I would have had a awkward, awkward, awkward situation there. Okay. Now, let's go here. So, again, fabric tuck because it gives me that wiggle room to move it around. And it dries really nicely as we saw on my little video on this glue. So we need that, right? Okay, again, right smack in the center of all that. Okay. Now we have all these other embellishments. And you guys know I like to distress my... Um, corrugated stuff so we got some gesso just cheap gesso just really cheap gesso I'm just gonna go in really cheap I think if I'm not mistaken I got this um, when Hobby Lobby had their clearance last year the year before 2017 and so yeah so it's cheap. All right, so then we have this piece, and I'll tell you the measurements on the gesso as soon as it dries up. This one's two and a half by four and a half. Again, we're going to probably tear in here because I want it to be really beat up. I did distress it already with my little scissors, but we're distressing it more. And you can probably sew. So this little piece of corrugated stuff is two and a quarter by four and a half, it looks like. I'm going to heat it up just a bit because I need to put some distress ink on that. Off camera, I know. Okay, now I am going to get my vintage photos because we couldn't live without it. I should have some here on my brush. I do. Not enough. I need to get a craft mat because as much as I like Tim Holtz glass mat, it's not practical for me. It isn't. Okay, I'm going to put that there probably. 
and I'm taking it off and we're not going to put a dimensional on that but we are going to put this cheesecloth Alright, so Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. And then I cut a piece of the strip from the paper collection. I am going to distress this one because I did not distress this. So we're going to distress. And I just use these, the back of these scissors. Notice I have not even taken off the price tag. I paid a dollar for them. I'm going to do this here. Straight, straight enough for me. Mm -hmm. I know, and I'm always complaining about, oh, it has to be straight. that there like so and then the, here's a little piece that we got we cut out from the little cutie things that young Sue was kind enough to gift me we're going to probably put that right behind this here like that that would have been really cool if you could have foiled that. That would have been really neat foil. So if you have a foil machine, foil that. Because see, all this collection has foils. That would have been really cool. What about here? Hmm. <laughs> thinking, thinking. Let's put my little thinking cap on. No, we don't want it there. What about here? We don't want it there. I don't know. I like it there too. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with it there. I like it there. All right. So we're, we've if, if you had a little foiling mechanism, you can foil it right there. See, I got my little. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Doesn't take too much to get me excited, guys. All right, so then we're going to go to town with this piece. Again, I'm going off there. Guess I shouldn't put too much there. I guess I didn't. Good. Good, good, good girl, May. Good girl. Okay, a little bit of that there. And this. Again, I'm just going right on leaving out the little folded areas. I'm going to clean that tip out. All right, smacking this center Again, I'm going to curl that in because I want some of that exposure. Okay, and this here. Ooh, we could have put that there. Hmm. 
Hold on, hold on. Thinking, thinking cap. Do I want it there? Do I want it there? You guys know I like craziness. Random craziness. Do I want it there? Do I want it up here? Let's see. I haven't decided yet. Alright, so these are little Tim Holtz plaques a young Sue gifted me. But we also have this little card. Why am I getting off track? We have this, which is part of the collection. And so... Oh yeah, I think I like it like this better. I'm glad I didn't do that. Because I forgot I had that little calling card that was from the collection. And this is part of a, as well, a little deer. And I picked out some of these die cuts as well. Because I wasn't sure what exactly I'm going to put in. But I like that. So we're going to go with that. So we're going to glue this down. I am going to distress this with vintage photos. Make sure I got the right one. Oh, this one. I like these little blending brushes because you can also wash them. Um, they are makeup brushes. Let me go in the glass mask. So I am going to go off camera. I'm on the side over here distressing his this little piece here. But I like these little blending brushes because they're makeup brushes. And I have a little link below my video that you can purchase it um, through Amazon. And that really helps me be able to replenish some of my supplies. So please, if you can, and if you see something there that I'm using that you would like to use, click on that link, please, and help me replenish my supplies. Okay, so we're going to go here. Just like so. Okay. And so then we're going to use this little baby that young Sue gifted me. And we're going to distress the deer. Let's move my pencil. We don't need that anymore. We don't need this anymore. No, probably no need the glue. Ugh. Let's distress the deer just a tad bit because he's a little bit too white around those edges from the die cutting. Again, you could probably um, you could probably um, lost my train of thought, guys. Put that back. I lost my train of thought. Don't know. Don't know what I was about to say. Probably something. <laughs> Brain fart moment. Um, we have the little chipboard words. Christmas time. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, so let's get some flowers out here. Oh, you know what? I had some twine. Let's make a little, looks like a little bird nest or something. I don't know. Guys, I lost my train of thought. I can't remember what I was going to say. Really, man? Really? Brain fart moment. Wow. That's amazing. Now I know this is something that um, Frank Garcia does with his reef. So you can check out his little reef that he makes. But I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that would be cute. Even if I did it um, off of that one, right? No. 
Let's see, guys. Let's see, guys, because I like the idea of being able to use my reef there and then put a little nice pretty bow there. Mm -hmm. Let's see the flowers. I still can't remember what it was I was about to say, guys. I don't know if it's because it's overly exhaustion. And these are from the Prima Collection Country. I'm working on a school assignment, so I said, you know what, I need to work on this. I like that there. I think what I want to do is put a little bow there, because, you know, everything is pretty with a bow. And you can never go wrong with those. Wish these weren't so flat. Like I feel like they're so flat. I want to get that little poinsettia die because I want to be able to make my own little poinsettia flowers without it being so flat. All right, I like that there. See what I mean? They're so flat. Oh my gosh, flatter than a pancake. I like odd number stuff and that you can't even see that little sign there so we need to move you we need to move you because we can't see you but I like you like you and I'm going to move you around because you're going to stay there one way or the other that's going to stay there guys we are going to use that all right so let's get some of these holly leaves these are really cute I like these Show my little cheesecloth, you know. That's important. Take you in here. And right now I'm just doing my placements. I'm not quite yet sure how it all is going to boil down, but. It's going to boil down to something, right? Let me get a piece of um, seam binding. Let me use a little bit of a greenish seam binding because it's it is Christmas, right? Off camera because I'm got funky hands and it'll turn or bend fingers like they should. All right. When you have fingers that just don't want to cooperate with you guys, it gets really hard. Okay. 
see if we can put that there. I think that'll look darling. Darling. Be a little reef right there. And even if we moved that there. And where's that chipboard? That can go right there because that needs to be shown. So. Yeah, that's going to go there for sure. I like that. So that's going to go there for sure. All right, so let's deconstruct and let's put this back there because I do know that that's where I want that. So now we're going to put that right there on top. I bend my little monkey or my bunny ears, my monkey ears. Listen to me. I need to get to bed. Working on my assignment. You guys know how that is with me. Okay. So I like the way this is all in. So we're going to move that slowly down. And oops. Yeah. just like that. I'm going to go ahead because I'm comfortable with that. Okay. Then we had our little guy here who's our little friendly deer. And he's going to go just like so. I guess we can put, you know, let's put some of this because this way, and let's put some dimension on him. It's a working desk, guys. It's messy. That's probably going to go there, but I have to distress it. And then we're going to try to reposition these flowers just to give it some dimension. Probably take some stickles. And I probably do that once I got it glued down because stickles is just one of those things that you can't mess with it once. And I don't want to sit there and while I'm working mess with it, you know. Like right here you can put some little gold stickles and I think once I place them down I'll do that because right now you can't really do that. Turn it over. Right there. Cheesecloth is hanging out because it's so yummy. And then we have a holly that's going to go in here. This one that goes down here again. Let's fluff it up. Let's fluff it up because flowers aren't supposed to be that flat. You know, this is not supposed to be. these back and attach it where we want to attach it and try to get that yumminess but look what we have so far not beautiful and it's totally dimensional totally and shabbylicious dimensional I love this stuff here and we're going to tuck more of this here I 
had to so we had to shut down for just a few minutes while I got a coffee break here and my husband um, came in and talked to me but I went ahead and put the eyelet in and I just went in at one and three quarters inch and made a marking and then I punctured in um, but other than that that's all I've done so far um, I'm thinking here I think I like this little look of it there like so see that I think I do and so we're gonna probably do that I'm gonna go ahead and do that let's go for it you know what the heck can't go wrong right can't go wrong just do it just do it So this week I am going to be, um, it's our finals, or um, we're working on finals this week. Oh, can I get that right? And I have to do a PowerPoint presentation for my public speaking class. Can you imagine that? Public speaking, I have to do a PowerPoint. I'm not looking forward to that, but it is what it is. Okay. So, yeah, I like that. Get a little bit of a pop there as well. Yeah, I don't like the gumminess of stuff on my fingers, guys. I don't. I think that's one of the reasons why I kind of stayed away from Tombow. I didn't like my fingers to get yucky. Okay, so I kind of like that. It almost looks like a little clipboard. Okay, we have this here. I'm going to distress it. And this again is from the um, Prima Country Christmas, and it's a Frank Garcia Country Christmas collection. I'm probably going to put that on there. And then I have the 25 days of Christmas. I thought that was cute. So we got to tuck that in here somewhere. And, and then I thought, what else can I put? You know, what else can I make? The 25 is a little bit bigger, so we can probably put that there instead of the little one. No, I like the, the little one. Let's see Santa. What about Santa? We gotta tuck Santa in there because I want my frame to show. Uh, yeah, I like Santa, so we're gonna go with Santa. Again, let's just dress little Santa. I use some of that red, uh, candied red. Let's go ahead and put this in there just because this is going to let me have that little bit of wiggle room to move things around in there in case he doesn't quite, you know, just gives me, um, and that's where gel medium is also good. Gel medium would be really great for that. All right, so with Santa in its place, um, we're going to put this little baby right in here. Can't see Christmas time, so we're going to have to lay it on top of that leaf. 
Yes, we are. And we are going to do that. All right. So we're going to put that there. Again, I'm just going to use Fabri Tuck. Get used to this Fabri Tuck. By the way, Joann's had a 60% coupon. So you could have bought your Fabri Tuck at 60%. From, let's move you up a little. You could have bought your. Um, Fabri-Tech at 60%. Just so you know. Every little bit helps. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and put this. Let's taper you down, guy. Little guy, sit there. Don't, don't play with me, Santa. Don't mess with me. Not today, Santa. All right. Seems like every time I move, um, one thing, the other thing moves. Okay. So we're gonna go, and we're gonna let that be distressed vintage photos. Yeah, we're going to put it right there. And I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue um, to tuck that in. Perfect. Here we're going to put a little bit of a tiny flower. One of these little poinsettias from the collection. It's a beautiful collection. So, Karima does put some beautiful stuff out. They do. it up and put it in here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to tuck, just bending it down, we're going to tuck it in there just like so. Being careful not to burn ourselves, which I've already done, too late for that. It makes a little root off here. A little bit more 3D. And I think Santa needs Santa needs help here because he's kind of not wanting to stick. Okay. So you get a little bit of the ornate label from Tim Holtz, and we could probably take. Um, some of the twine nothing fancy And like you have no sense, huh? <laughs> Why? Okay. So we got that going. Beautiful, right? Then we're gonna take some splatters. Let's close this glue up. And let's get 
this stuff picked up because I don't want splatters all over this. My little pouch. I think I grabbed it off. I don't think I did. Okay. Let's pack this up because I don't want to lose anything. I would hate to be the one that packages these little flowers. I really would. I don't know how they do it. I never understand how anyone does the packaging in manufacturing plants because let me tell you, whenever I put anything back after I've gotten it out of a package, I can never get it back. I've got some cheesecloth lingering here, so I'm thinking of putting some down here under little guy just to kind of bring more of that in. I don't think I need that big of a piece though. Waste not, want not, we can use that for another, right? Let's go ahead and use, we can use the fabric tag there. Scissors tips off. And now we're going to splat her. Let's move my brush out of the way so we're not getting that messed up. All right, so we're going to get splatter on my desk. Oh, well, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I'm going to water this down because this is really thick gesso. I even got the splatters on my hand, guys. That's a messy splatter job, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Let me get some baby wipes. Okay, so this tag came out gorgeous. Aside from my splatter ma mess, I hope I didn't get any splatter in my coffee. I hope it's good. All right. Aside from my splatter mess, and I think I'm going to go in with some stickles and maybe put some of this gold along this side here. I'm just going right around the edge and I could have done it you know um, before I put it down but then I can't handle it and I hate that I had to wait several hours to handle it that part I don't like so why don't I just handle it and then do the stickle I'm just going right around that edge where it's kind of 
bare almost. This stuff gets clogged up. It's clogged up and notice that it's always the gold one. The other one's not so much, but the gold. I don't know if they put more glitter in it or what. I think they put more glitter in it. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I think, and I'm sticking to that story. Again, you can do this um, if you choose before you glue it down. I just hate handling it and having to wait because I'm impatient. But if you have all the patience in the world, ideally you want to do this before you you know, glue that down. But see how the difference that makes on that? Just makes it real so pretty. It makes it so pretty. So I'm just gonna go around here, around these edges like so. I don't wanna keep you guys, um, watching me glue this doesn't have to be real time I'll just sh show you the end result and uh, in the picture and you can see that so I will see you guys in the next video guys take care Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, share my videos, um, give it thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.